Here we are in the tower, and we're about to take a look at the weapons of the week. Um, I'm not going to look at everything, just the ones that I would like to buy. And with no further ado, let's get started. Weekly events. Raid of the week is King's Fall. As you know, all challenges are active. Challenge of the Elders has airborne, fresh troops, grenade kill bonus. Nightfall has epic, berserker, fresh troops, airborne, and catapult. Good times. The heroic strike playlist has uh, Voidburn, Brawler, and Chaff. So, Warlocks, let's go. Get out that Doom of Kelkis or the Steel Medulla, the Adepts. Let's wreck it. The weekly story playlist is Chaff and Airborne. And of course, the weekly Crucible playlist is Iron Banner with Mayhem Clash. At New Monarchy, this week, the Impeacher 5 catches my eye, as usual. Uh, this week, we have the True Sight IS Scope. We have Quick Draw and Armor Piercing Rounds, Hand Loaded, Army of One, and Reactive Load. There isn't a bad setup for this weapon, but I think my instinct would be to run Quick Draw, Hand Loaded, and Reactive Reload just generically. Uh, however, since I usually run a Warlock with Ophidian Aspects, I'd probably run Armor Piercing Rounds, Army of One, and Reactive Reload. Not a lot of great interest here at the Crucible Quartermaster. I'm only going to give two an honorable mentions. One is to the B-29 Party Favor, which uh, has a sure shot sight. Uh, these two are middling perks, Partial Refund and Eye of the Storm, uh, but you do have Perfect Balance and Glass Half Full. So if you don't have a Pulse Rifle in this archetype, this is not a bad one to get you going. Moving on, we have to go over the palindrome report. And this week's palindrome might be a good choice for Mayhem Clash if you really like hand cannons because of the third eye option. Uh, you also have rifle barrel, so you do have some range and spray and play. There are no great sights on here, so whichever one suits you best, probably quick draw or steady hand. Uh, but the real thing here is third eye. Having awareness is gonna be crucial to success in Mayhem Clash. Now let's take a look at the Vanguard. The only weapon I really like this week is the Parthian Shot. Uh, this sucker comes this week with a Reflex Sight, Outlaw and Take a Knee, Hand Laid Stock, Lightweight, and Counterbalance. Uh, if you run this with Counterbalance, Hand Laid Stock, it's going to be an absolute laser. Coupled with the increased aim assist uh, from Reflex Sight, and really, your choice, depending on the circumstance of Outlaw or Take a Knee. I'd be partial to Take a Knee because this is more of a standoff weapon. You want to use it almost like uh, a sniper rifle or a scout rifle and kind of stay back and counter snipe and pick people off when they cross open areas. So I'd prefer Take a Knee for that play style. But if you like to get up and get the kills, Outlaw is going to work very well. Just aim for center of mass. Your kill shots will be headshots. There was nothing that caught my eye at Dead Orbit. So lastly, we arrive at Future War Cult. Um, this week, the Waltz is actually worth a look. I think it's better than the Clever Dragon Vendor Edition. Uh, it has glass half full, small bore, armor piercing rounds or quick draw, and you have the uh, reflex sight. So lots of good options. And with small bore, it's gonna have more ammo than the clever dragon does to start with so this is really worth a look if you were excited by the clever dragon that lady aphrodite has moving on let's take a look at the wounded which is a strong pve role uh, there are no great sites the reflex site is not so great in pve because you tend to engage at longer ranges but the range lens is an acceptable substitute uh, this is going to look a little bit like the Mitoscope if you're not familiar with it. Uh, you have Explosive Rounds, Triple Tap, and Crowd Control. Triple Tap's excellent against bosses, Crowd Control's excellent against adds, and for Axis Phase 2 and 
Shanks will be one shot with the explosive rounds on this archetype of weapon. So definitely worth taking a look at. And finally, we have the weekly Wormwood report. And once again, Laxmi brings us a pretty decent Wormwood. Uh, the scopes are True Sight and Sure Shot. We have High Cal and Snapshot, Fitted Stock, Cascade, and Rangefinder. There is no bad setup for this Wormwood. Uh, probably my preferred setup would be Sure Shot, High Caliber Rounds, Fitted Stock, and Rangefinder. That's straight across the top. Uh, but there is no bad setup. Snapshot's always going to be good, and it's going to synergize very well with Rangefinder. And Cascade reloads a portion of your weapon the magazine with melee kills. Well, when you're using a sidearm, you're going to be in melee kill range pretty constantly. Well, that's going to do it for me this week, Guardians. What do you think? Did I miss a great role that you're excited to use? Were one of my picks really stupid? Let me know in the comments below. As always, you can find me online, on Twitter, on Twitch, and of course right here on YouTube. Thanks for watching, Guardians. Your support means the world to me. I will see you starside.